Welcome everyone. This is Mary Mills and today we are going to be discussing implementing risk management approaches for compliance with ICH GCP E6 and the addendum. So I'm so glad you all decided to attend this webinar and I look forward to talking to all of you for the next couple of hours. I'm not going to go through a lot about me but you have the slides and you can see that I'm a nurse and that I have a lot of monitoring experience, but I also have a great deal of operation experience and risk-based quality management experience. I have been teaching the addendum for probably about oh, a year and a half or a little bit longer now and worked extensively when it, with it when it was in the earlier steps. So as we move through, I will stop intermittently to see if you have any questions. I would like to review with you our learning objectives and our agenda for today. So I'm going to ask you in just a few minutes a little bit about you and just kind of get a general idea of where we are or where you are with your impact assessment, your gap analysis, because today we're going to be talking more about implementation. And then the biggest crux of today, we will go through Section 5 of the addendum and we will discuss what Section 5 components are and talk about some implementation practices and steps. Uh, for pretty much each of those, I will give you some tips and then we'll do a summary and make sure that we have covered the objectives. I want to give you a disclaimer right now. I got so excited about this course that I put 120 some odd slides in. We will not in the course of two hours be able to go through all 120 of the slides. It's just too, too many. But some of the ones that I included are very self-explanatory and they're given to you kind of as a bonus. So if I go through something really, really quickly but you want additional explanation, just type a chat or reach out in some way. But there were just things that I felt like I really needed to include for you knowing that we were going to have just the two hours to really discuss this. This is just kind of the tip of the iceberg with implementation. At this point, for those of you, I think we have maybe one person on the call from the UK, the United States, the, the FDA has reached step four, which means that almost a year ago, R2 was adopted. The US has not fully put this into place yet which would be step five. So it will be reaching step five. We don't have an exact date in the United States once the United States has all of the FDA inspectors and staff trained. So what does that mean? That basically means that as companies, you need to be moving towards making sure you have your gap analysis done, that you know what your impact is to your organization, to your systems, to your people. And we are not really here to talk so much about gap analysis and impact assessment today. We're going to talk more about implementation, but certainly all of these things go hand in hand. I wanted to just throw in this one slide and I use it for some of my other classes, but it basically tells you some of the approaches that you should use to impact your organization with gap analysis so that you can focus on solutions with R2. If y'all remember R2, covers the gambit. We're going to be so really focusing on Section 5 today and implementation, implementation ideas. 